Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Lisa coming in today with day seven of the 100 day challenge. Um, this should be a quick one, um, but I have um, a great idea to use for um, this book of paint chips I have. Now, not everybody's gonna have a big old huge book of paint chips, but uh, these are easily found at, uh, at hardware stores. So um, pick up a couple and be able to make these quick and easy. All right, so what they are is they're folded and they have some little pages in there to make a little notepad. I've got them hooked up a couple different ways I'll show you. And they slip nice and easy into pockets here or there. Um, pull them out to be able to write us up. Hidden pockets and throw them back in there. Okay. Um, so this one, um, I, I'm almost finished. I just wanted to add um, a label in the back to cover up the brads that are poking through. So I haven't done that yet, so let me get that attached real quick so I can have that one and call it done. How are you today? I hope you're having a good day. Um, I am recording this on the first day of spring, hence the nice bright yellow chipper shirt today had to even though it's still cold outside resist the winter welcome the spring okay um, I also have these uh, chipboard tags um, I actually sell them in my Etsy store um, that I'm using as a hold down for this it can be either be just a plain old decoration or actually a hold down if you don't want to stick it in so dual purpose on that so all right so there is the tag so I'm going to show you how we to do these um, let's start with a brand new one then I'll come back to those so um, I picked yellow for this one I thought it was a good one um, now whatever size paint chip you get it's going to be different for you size wise but I'm going to go on mine here because I know they're shorter ones, maybe able to glue two together. Um, but this is what I have. Um, this is uh, nine inches long by two inches wide. So what I did was I took the top one and I'm going to fold that down to in between the, it's hard to tell on this one because it's almost the same color, in between the colors so that that becomes the top part where the, um, it comes the top part where that's going to go. And then I just took this and folded it up so that it was just enough to tuck underneath there. And it's pretty much then halfway for this square to go through. Okay. All right. So simple. Um, I put five pieces of paper in there. You could do whatever you want, but I decided five was good. So I just randomly cut some strips of paper here. Um, my inside measured a little like four and a quarter, four and a half, I believe it was. Yeah, about four and a half. So I measured these to about four and a quarter. This was too wide, so I did an inch and three quarters so that it would sit inside there and not stick out. All right, and then I randomly cut the four and a quarter by inch and three quarter um, piece of paper. Um, I do have them white in the back, um, variety of solids, some lines, um, just basic colors for them just to fit into any of them. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we'll do these five. Kind of mix the order up here. Okay, so. There's a couple ways to do this tab here. Um, this one, I didn't do anything in. There's nothing there. So it's either stick it in there or, um, I need to glue that down, or stick it up like that. This one I had originally done with an X-Acto knife where I cut a little V-notch in there so that it can go in there if you want as a little decoration to that um, or not and then there's another way to do it um, this one was actually a shorter uh, strip 
and I have this half circle notch. I got that from, I have a notch and die kit cutting tool. Um, basically, I've had this for decades. And basically it's got sharp, if I can get it out, oof. Um, it's got a half circle, it's got a the triangle and a line that you just need to plop it in here. A certain way there we go and it basically just since it has the circle you would come through and put it on there and notch it down and you have a notch it's definitely a little bit more work that I would like to do so that's why I started doing the V in there with just an exacto blade just taking this and cutting a, cutting a little V in there for it. Or, like I said, doing the chipboard charms that I have there just to close it and not have to worry about it. So lots of different ways um, you can go ahead and close them. So I'm gonna put that away. Save that smaller one for another day. Okay, so back to the shallow one. Um, I'm not gonna notch it out for this one. Um, I'm gonna stick the papers in there. Now, if you don't want to, if you don't have brads and don't want to do that, um, there's a much easier way to do them if you'd like. All right, so I center them. I put the papers down toward the fold so I get the most out of there. And then everyone should have one of these, a handy dandy stapler. And you can go ahead and staple it. So that will put them in there. Super easy. Now you can put some sort of sticker on there, stamps, um, anything like that, a little piece of tape. Find a little piece of scrap that you want and you can put it on there, add some embellishment to it. Like that. I don't think I want orange though. I, think I want something green because this is going in with the green folder. So. Yeah, I'll throw a little glue on there. I am using the liquid glue on these because the paint chips are a little bit um, smoother and they didn't seem to like taking the stick glues very well so you can do that just to cover that staple up a little bit maybe i'll put a little stamp on there i to organize my bag of stamps it's on my project list of things to do Throw this on the front. All right. Okay, so I have a four, the four pockets fold over that I did in a previous one to uh, 100 day video. Um, you'll be able to stick that in there or stick it in the pocket. You can actually, oops, it go through. You actually be able to hang it on the top of the pocket too. Um, if you don't want it to go just like that, stick it up like that. Nice and easy, very simple. Okay. Put some little glue on here. You can tell I used the rub on glue for that. That's why it's coming out. Okay. Put that one in there with that. All right, so for this one, I was gonna put it in this pocket. Um, I decided to go with uh, red brads 
I've got one of my chipboard charms, joy, because woodpeckers, birds bring you joy. Maybe not if you got in a wooden house, but um, so what I did on that was I took an awl and I just eyeballed where I wanted to go and just went through, pushed that down, made sure that the holes came through. And we'll start with that first one. We'll stick the brad through. These little mini brads are work wonders. They actually do go all the way through the chipboard and the papers. Flatten that out. And we'll stick that one in that side. And we'll flatten that one out. And I've got a stamp that I'm going to put on this. To cover up those brads. I mean, I, I don't think they would hurt anybody necessarily, but when it's coming in and out, to have them covered so they don't get caught on a page, I thought was a good idea to cover them up. Get that straight. All right. So, we got papers in there. Let's lift that up. Like that down, got the little chipboard in there. Um, like I said, you can um, tuck it down in there if you want and leave the tag up. Probably should have put the brad over a little farther. Um, I'm gonna put it down though since I put that V in there and decided not to use it and cover it up. Okay, so there's that one. Not that one, no. And you wanted to find a purple one for that. So, Good. Probably the hardest part of this book is cutting these out and cutting them out straight. Okay. Put that away. All right, so once again, I'm gonna fold this down right where the split is between the two colors. Fold this up just underneath the tab. Okay. Now, let me get some. One, two, three, four, five papers. Oh, I think I'll pick a, that one's going to go in here, pick a chipboard word for that. I'm going to say, dream, inspire, live, live for flowers. Okay, live, I like live. Okay, put those away. All right, this time I'm going to make sure I find us, make sure that this tag does not go over that. All right, so we're gonna put the pole over here. All right, so I'll put the hole over here. Get the first one, push it through. Make sure it's come through, which it has. And let's find some brads to go with that. Maybe a pop of green would be cute. Or lilac. Let's go with maybe lilac. All right. There's a lilac and almost looks gray now, lilac. lilac. All 
All right, so I'm going to put the first brad through the charm and the back. Smash it down good. All right, so now I know how far I need to put this. Even it up, push it through, and put the second one in. Okay. Put a little strip of paper washi on the back of like that. glue on there so it stays okay so we can either like I said tuck it underneath there and have the tag or I'll be able to put it on top there and have the tag. This is gonna be perfect for this journal. You gotta decorate that a little further too, but that works good, I like it. Okay, well I said this was gonna be quick, so hopefully that was a, enough of an instruction on how I made these. Uh, so again, depending on what size paint strips you get, will depend on how big the sheets are inside and how big, uh, wide and long they are. Um, but they're a great little easy thing and add a little collar pop to um, any little tuck place where you want to put a little hidden place to write something. So, all right. Well, that is it for today. Um, I hope you have a, rest, a good rest of your day and um, a creative one. Thanks so much.